Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ryan, this is my Raspberry Pi Sprout. Welcome back to another episode of Sprout Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to replace the server.jar file uh, for your MC server, or we could say how to update your MC server.jar file. Uh, this is really, really simple. It's a pretty routine standard system administration thing, so uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we are running on a paper MC. Uh, 1.18.1 server. 1.18.2 is coming up soon, so perhaps I'll do another video then uh, when that is released. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, what we want to do is go to papermc.io slash downloads. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link here, and then I'm going to do, uh, you see I'm logged in as user Minecraft on my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do wget, and you can see that it's downloading now. Um, and whether it's 1.18.1 or 1.17.1 or like 1.11, uh, this method should work for any update, um, uh, just to update your server.jar file to keep things uh, smooth and running. Cool, so if I do an ls, we can see now we have this uh, .jar file. Uh, luckily, this is really easy to rename. We just do mv and then select the .jar file, and then we're gonna call it server.jar, okay? This is really important that we call it server.jar. Uh, now what we want to do real quick is we'll um, cd over to our Minecraft directory, and you'll see here we have the server.jar file, the old one. Um, so first of all, it's really important that you do a backup. I made a video on this uh, just the other day. Backup your files either to the cloud or locally on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, and the second thing you want to do is you want to stop your server. Um, I don't know if this is... It's 12 o'clock. Excuse me, this computer's talking, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, I don't know if this is entirely necessary uh, to stop the server, but um, in my opinion, you probably should, just so you don't mess anything up. Uh, so depending on how you stop your server, go for it. I'm using systemd, uh, so what I'm going to do is hop over to my pi user, which is root. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run uh, sudo um, service minecraft uh, stop. And again, if you don't know what systemd is, I've got another video on how to start your Minecraft server on boot um, so that it's just running in the background uh, and you can start and stop it pretty easily with these commands. Uh, and this is just going to take a minute because the um, server needs to shut down. So let's uh, just wait here a second. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is uh, hop back over to user Minecraft and we're gonna replace this server.jar file with the new one. So let's cd back to our home directory. Oh, whoops, actually we're gonna remove it first. So we're gonna do um, rm server.jar, okay? And if we do an ls, you can see now it's gone. Now we go back to our home directory, we're gonna do uh, cp server.jar into our Minecraft directory. Okay, and if I do an ls, there it's back, that's the new one. Now we wanna start our server again, um, so it can load up this new uh, jar file. And again, depending on how you do this, uh, you can use bash scripts or whatever. Um, again, I'm using systemd, which is really, really convenient, and uh, we can kind of see this in real time by uh, doing this. Okay, so you can see that it's loading uh, the Minecraft service. Uh, you know, it stopped earlier, now it's starting. And um, yeah, we just need to wait for confirmation that it's loaded up uh, 207. So let's keep an eye out for that. Okay, really nice tea. Okay, resource manager, did I miss it somehow? Okay, loading recipes. Okay, just ignore these warnings. I don't really know what this is myself, but it doesn't really affect my server. Uh, okay, yeah, paper version 207. Great, so it worked. And now your server should load um, the new .jar file. I will go ahead and stop the video here because um, my server takes a while to load because I have a lot of plugins. Uh, cool, that's it. How to update your server.jar file. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.